guys, it is Friday, April 9th, and I'm in a really great mood, so I decided to vlog. Just a reminder, if you watch YouTube videos of vlogs or vloggers regularly, that everything on social media is curated and it's all just like a highlight reel because I was just thinking about how I never vlog when I'm in a bad mood or when I'm sad. So the only times I post videos are when I'm happy and like doing fun things. So just a reminder that everything you see is just the good stuff, like no one ever documents or posts about the bad stuff, even though I just got struck by something that was sad and now I'm gonna keep moving on because I'm in a good headspace. So I worked today from 8.30 to two and then after work I went home and I had a Zoom interview with Equinox, which is this big bougie fitness company in Boston and it went really well. So I'm in a good mood and I'm about to get ice cream at this place called Honeycomb Creamery. It's in Cambridge. I found a place to park just across the street from it and there's a meter. I'm not gonna pay it because I'm just gonna be in and out and chance my luck with not getting the ticket. So it's like a beautiful blue sky day. Yeah, there you can kind of see it. It's 62 degrees out, but I have my jacket on because it doesn't feel that warm when I'm driving with the windows down. But I have a lot of schoolwork to do this weekend. So we'll see where this vlog goes because I don't know what other fun stuff I'll do. Aside from tomorrow night, I'm getting drinks on Newberry with my girlfriends from BU. So really looking forward to that. Hopefully I will vlog that as well. I wanna do a life update because I have a potential change in my future plans that I wanted to share that I'll probably speak about on the podcast. I also have to record the podcast today. So yeah, that is what's up. Of course, by the time I start filming, I'm already almost done with my ice cream, but I got in a waffle cone this like lemon ice cream with raspberry, almost jelly. You can like kind of see it on the side and it has white chocolate bits in it. I don't really taste the chocolate of it. Very good. I'm kicking myself because I didn't bring water and I feel like anytime you ever eat ice cream, you get thirsty for water, but I don't really have anywhere to go or anything to do. So I think I'm just gonna drive around and listen to Taylor Swift because it's Friday, the day that she released her re-recorded version of Fearless. So I have just been in like, I've been listening to this podcast on Taylor Swift that my friend Caitlin recommended that I'm going to also suggest in my podcast because they've just been dissecting each album of hers. I'll put the name at the bottom of the screen because I can't remember what it's called right now. I think it's like Ring or Dash and it's every single Taylor Swift album. So been listening to that and then I've really been getting into Evermore. I didn't really like it that much when it first came out. I'm a huge folklore fan, but Evermore, I feel like I've been digging the song Ivy and Cowboy Like Me, as well as the song Long Story Short, I think is what it's called. So anyway, Taylor Swift mood, it's a Friday. I feel like I don't, yeah, it's just like a vibe and I'm enjoying, now that the traffic's gone, I can roll down my window and freaking jam. So I hope you guys, whenever you're watching this, also had a good past Friday. Guys, look, there's rowers. Oh, that's so cool. I wanna be a rower. Ah, I'm stuck in traffic and I'm considering going rollerblading because it's just so freaking nice out. Okay, so it's later. I am chopping up some salmon for my dinner. I'm having pesto pasta with this mixed in. Drinking my booch, you know. Good. Whatever this is, this is elderflower jasmine violet. It's the GT's brand, but I didn't end up going rollerblading later because I got lazy, so I laid in my bed on my phone for a couple hours, kind of feel like shit, but it's fine because I have a Zoom meeting tonight with my girlfriends back home from Colorado, Tira, Bree, and Holly. So I'm really looking forward to that, but yeah, you know those days where you're just like, I'm annoying and I wanna be that bitch, but I just like can't do it right now because I'm stressed out from school. My hair is too long and next Saturday I'm getting my ears pierced. I just like wanna cut off all my hair, get another tattoo. I wanna get another form tattoo. I'm getting my second lobe piercing. I have my first bottom one. You can kind of see the hole there. So I'm getting the second one and I wanna cut my hair to like here. I wanna get bangs. I don't know why, I'm just like, Tired of the old me, wanna be the new me. I know that the inside won't change, which is the most upsetting part. Maybe let's change that first. But for the exterior, I'm just like, I need something new. I need to feel revitalized. So anyway, <laughs> that is the mood this Friday night. My neighbors are partying. I hate everything, but yeah, I'm about to watch the bold type on the iPad. It's this cute little setup. So it's like propped up for me while I eat my dinner, but that's what's going on here. Hope you guys are all having fun on this Friday night. I'm not jealous if you're socializing or out doing anything fun. Couldn't be me. 
God. Why do I drink this? You guys, pesto pasta, if you haven't had it in a while, I just picked up this little jar. You only need like two tablespoons. But that with this brown rice quinoa pasta from Trader Joe's, it looks so dark with salmon. So good. And I feel like I would have paired this with asparagus because I have some asparagus in my fridge right now. But I'm just feeling lazy and I had a salad earlier and I'm just like, mm, this pasta is good enough for me. So. Anyway, I think I'm gonna call it a day with this part of the vlog because I'm about to FaceTime the girls and I need to clean up my dishes and wash my face and just go to bed because I feel like this day is just, I'm not gonna be productive with school and that is okay. And look who's on top of the fridge right now. Reggie. Oh, you're so cute. She's the double. It is 12 o'clock and I just got back from rollerblading. I didn't get any video of it because I was just enjoying myself. There is an ice cream truck behind me and it is playing its song. But what's alarming is that I left here at 11.30 and it had just gotten here. It's been here half an hour. How many kids is it serving? I'm like, dang, should I go into that business? Because I feel like that's where the money must be at. <laughs> but no, seriously, it really made me crave ice cream. So I think I'm gonna go to the pressed juicery. I think there's only one on Back Bay, like near a Soul Cycle. But I am just craving like something cold. Also, I look a mess. <laughs> I made it to the press juicery, but Newberry on a Saturday was a bad idea because I have my hazards on and I'm just gonna run in quick because everybody else is doing it. So I feel like it's not that big of a deal. Like I don't think anyone's gonna hit my car, but fingers crossed I can get the goods. Goods acquired. Look at this tree. Look at this day. Life is good. That was very stressful because I've never double parked before. I'm terrified of getting a ticket, but I got their vanilla freeze with strawberries, cacao nibs, and their like chocolate sauce. It is so good. I think for the video I'm intending to make, like non-dairy ice cream options, this one takes the cake. This is the pressed juicery in Back Bay, or it's on Newberry, and then they have another one in Cambridge. Honestly, if you're in Boston, go to the one in Cambridge because finding parking on Newberry is like a literal nightmare, but this is by far the best quality because the chocolate sauce like froze on the vanilla freeze and obviously it's non-dairy so it's made of like almonds and dates and it's pretty good honestly it, like pretty much tastes the same so I'm so glad I came here this this was good even though it was stressful it is a few hours later it is like 4 30 no it's five o'clock and I don't know if you can hear but my neighbors are having quite the party everybody's out because it's like 70 degrees in Boston it's so nice so when I got home from rollerblading I took a shower I got dressed I did my hair in this cute little thing it's uneven so I don't want to show you the back but I have earrings in and this pretty dress that I like. I'm going to Sansi with my girlfriends like I talked about, so I'll show my whole outfit before I go. But I am just working on nutrition things with the window open because the air is so nice and it's super loud with them partying, but I'm watching the bold type on my iPad like I've been doing, so. Yeah, that's what's going on and I'm in a pretty good mood. I never found time to record the podcast and I feel bad about it because I never have missed a podcast since I started it and I really don't want to, but I honestly might be recording it the morning of and just kind of like short, quick editing it, which normally I don't like to be that last minute with it. I like to put more thought into it, but I know what I want the episode to be about. I just like school has to come first, you know, so Anyway, I'm gonna give my life update in the car. I think I talked about that on Friday that I was like, oh, I have a life update I wanna share in the podcast and I was just reminded of it. So, updates to come. This is my outfit, I don't know why, I just really like it. I have this jean jacket with this like seafoam green dress and then I have these nude heels on. So, sorry if you just saw my underwear, but yeah, I feel like it looks really good together. And then like I said, I did this like bubble thing with my hair and I have them both ending in these pretty braids. I'm so proud of myself, you guys, because I never learned how to braid until I was like 22 years old. So the fact that I'm able to do it regularly now just makes me feel really good. So I'm about to leave and go try to find parking again on Newberry. I don't know why I do this to myself, it's a Saturday night. I could take the tea, but I just don't want to and I was working on school stuff, so I waited till the last minute. But yeah, this is the outfit and we're going to Sanzi on Newberry for drinks. We might get food as well, but I'm kind of glad to leave because all of the partying around my house is making me jealous. Anyway, that is what's going on. And I do not condone partying right now, even though I'm jealous of them, just because 
I bet they're all spreading it to one another or maybe they're vaccinated, I don't know, but yeah. So I'm walking back from Sansi. I was with my friends Kaylee, Caitlin, and Brittany. It was really fun. I only got that little clip of it because it's dark in there and obviously I was trying to enjoy myself, but we all got drinks and appetizers. I had like a veggie sushi roll. It wasn't that good. I realized that when I eat sushi, I want there to be seafood in it. I'm not a huge like vegetarian sushi person, but I walked all the way back up Newberry. My feet are killing me. I might end off the vlog here because I think tomorrow all I'm gonna do is schoolwork. But yeah, it's just been like the most fun Boston weekend, if you will. I hope you guys have enjoyed like the time lapses and the videos, just kind of a more social weekend for me. So, cause this might be my last summer in Boston. So as I say that, I just realized I never explained the life update I said I was gonna give. Basically, I think I might move back to Seattle because my family has a house on Lake Washington that they currently rent out to a family, but they've told, my dad has told the people that live there currently that he's trying to sell the house and he's hoping to get rid of it. So they need to like find a new place to live. And my dad was kind of pitching it to me that this is the last chance to live at the Lakeside house because after he sells it, like it's gone, it's not in our family name anymore. So I don't know, I just like, I love Boston so much. And if I'm able to get a job and I can afford to stay, I absolutely would because I love it here. As you guys know, like I've only been here a year for grad school and because of COVID, it hasn't really been the normal Boston experience, but the thought of going back to Seattle and living in the house that my mom lived in for 12 years, I didn't realize she lived there that long, but it was like from 1980 to 1992, she lived in this house and was just like, my role model, my favorite person, like just a badass bitch. And I'm like, I want to do that myself. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. If I can get a job in Seattle, honestly, like I could see myself moving back there. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. You should subscribe, follow me on Instagram, go listen to the podcast because I still haven't recorded it yet, but an episode will be going up tomorrow. So it'll be interesting to see what comes out of that episode. But yeah, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.